Well, it's our job to make sure that local regulators, so this is local authorities up and down the country, um, observe the principles of better regulation when they're regulating local businesses. And our particular um, interest is in helping them work in ways that will not only protect consumers and communities, but will also support businesses and will promote growth and prosperity. So that's the sort of space we work in. And then in, in terms of what that means in practice, what we do is to help make sure that local authorities regulate businesses in a consistent way. That's one of the main things we do because we know from survey work and the experiences of, of businesses and business federations that, um, well, at, at least uh, 170,000 uh, businesses across the UK uh, who work with different local authorities experience the regulation uh, they get as being inconsistent. And that adds to um, business cost, it creates business frustration, um, and frankly it's not fair. So um, that's one of the main things we try and uh, have an impact on. Well, one of the um, uh, one of the most important things about LBRO is that we, we flowed uh, from a, an initiative um, that business was absolutely at the heart of. It was the report that uh, Sir Philip Hampton prepared in 2005. And um, his recommendation to government was that they should do something about the inconsistency that he had seen and that local regulation should be improved. And so we were created, we were given statutory powers in 2008, and our statutory powers um, work in a number of different directions. They work in the direction of the national regulators. Um, we have statutory agreements with them. They work in the direction of local authorities. We can give advice to local authorities, but we can also, if it's absolutely necessary, direct them. Um, in relation to these uh, matters of local regulation. And we also have a duty to advise government across the board, not just one department, but across all departments if need be, and to make specific proposals. So we connect the different parts of what is actually a very complicated system. It's complicated because you have a number of national regulators, Food Standards Agency, HSE, the OFT, and so forth, and a number of government departments who all make regulations at the national level. They look to local authorities, though, to deliver that regulation locally. And because local authorities are getting, if you like, instructions from many people at the same time, um, it's not surprising that the system gets confused, confusing, fragmented. And if you're at the business end of all this, it doesn't always seem to make nearly as much sense as it ought to. Since we started, which is a couple of years ago, we've uh, worked uh, pretty closely with the CBI and the other major business federations. And we've been um, increasingly um, determined to work also closely with trade associations. And a lot more of them, of course, um, so it creates a lot more work. Um, but we're very clear that trade associations, um, through the membership that they have of individual businesses, potentially are are a, a channel for giving assured advice to business that could help resolve some of these questions of inconsistency and could also um, ensure that businesses across the country get much more ready access to the assured advice they want. One of the problems if you're dealing with a public authority is that they won't always be able to say to you, this is what the position is and we can stick to it. And the reason for that is because they're worried about what happens if there's some subsequent court case or enforcement action. So they'll very often hedge their advice around with all kinds of caveats and uncertainties. One of the things that our primary authority scheme does is enable businesses to get access to assured advice that they, they can be confident about and which, which is absolutely authoritative. And the trade associations, we think, are a key channel to helping business access that kind of assured advice. Fits in extremely well, I should say, with the Anderson agenda for sector-based uh, advice to business. We think there's a very strong relationship between uh, what she uh, found was absolutely essential and what we think the primary authority scheme uh, can provide to trade associations and to individual businesses.